lately after a long investigation why my laser is not working with the full power I was forced to replace a lens in it. You can read about the whole testing process on my page. But anyway, after I received spare lenses and replaced it, I started to wonder if the focus distance has changed. So far I was checking laser distance from surface with provided nylon blocks. I've also tested it once, by eye, checking how laser dot will change depending on the distance from surface and I've assumed that provided spacers are close enough to use it regularly. But now I thought it's time for more scientific approach. So the idea is to measure the distance when laser is in focus by checking it on long straight cut. First of all we need to zero the laser, but now instead of using spacers we have to use the laser itself. Just like with all the cutting bits on router. Now if your laser has focus distance, like in my case 17 mm, we can start from 10 mm and finish on 20 mm from surface. We just need to be sure to definitely start below and pass the focus distance. Next step is to raise the laser on 10 mm distance from surface. This you should do manually and then run the G-code that will move the laser 200 mm in x-axis simultaneously raising z-axis by 10 mm. We have to set the laser power as low as possible so it will not burn when it's out of focus. The G-code will do a small dot at start and at the end and there should be burn line somewhere in between. If there is no line Check if the laser passes focus distance for sure and increase its power. If the line is too long or whole 20 cm is burned, change the laser decreasing its power in G-code. So the first laser run in this example leaves no mark on masking tape. So the laser power was too weak. We need to go back to a starting point, change the laser power in G-code and run it again. The provided G-code is very simple and you only need to modify S-value. The first S-definition is for marking starting point, second definition is for proper testing and the last one is for final point. So first and third value should be high, so the laser will leave the mark even if it's out of focus. The middle, proper one, should be as low as possible. I'm talking all the time about GRBL implementation of G-code. This can, and probably will be, a little different for other interpreters. If you are not sure what value S can be, check your machine settings and see position 30 and 31. These are value for your minimal and maximum laser power. Second run is much better, but still not good enough. This time we have too much power and the laser did burn the line till the very end. So if I've lowered the laser power to 35, this is about 7% of my maximum power, and did the third run. You can clearly see when the laser starts to burn the masking tape and where it's end. This region is what we are looking for. Assuming a linear laser focus, middle of this line is our peak power of the focus. Now I need to mark and measure where the burn starts and ends. Calculate the middle of it and proportionally calculate the laser focus height. For the best result you should lower power a bit yet and measure it twice or more. In this example middle of the burn zone is average of 134 and 171 millimeters that is 152,5 millimeters. Proportionally on travel distance of 200 millimeters this gives 0,7625 or 76,25% if you prefer. Because our vertical movement was 10 mm, so calculated value times 10 gives 7,625 mm. Now adding starting 10 mm, we are finally having our peak laser power distance from surface, that is 17,625 mm.